Hello guys, it's me, Carl Santos, I can have a turn of five, and welcome to another edition of F1 2021 Career Mode. So, as I'm recording this, it's been like a two to three weeks since I've uploaded a video because I've had to do exams, and quizzes, and all that, and plus I've been busy doing reading assignments for my college classes, so it's been really challenging and more stressful because I don't have time to like actually go into my Xbox and upload these video game reviews so basically here is a, a race clip from the Netherlands this is the Dutch Grand Prix home of Max Verstappen and I'm telling you I'm not that spectacular at the Dutch Grand Prix because it, the circuit is Zambor when I played it back in 2009 or 2010. This was one of the tracks I couldn't get around to. You know. So well, that's all I can say though. Yeah, I use a, a few rewinds on this video clip because Yeah, I didn't catch any of those while I was editing, but you'll, you'll know what I mean when I actually, when you actually watch this for 30 minutes and so, but as the title says, it says, easy win at Monza, so in this first race you're going to see Dutch Grand Prix and then the second is the Italian Grand Prix from Monza, so. It's a split between 15 minutes of this and then 15 minutes a month. Well, you're not going to see that much clip from Monza because it's just me being in the lead the whole time, you know, and I've always been dominant at Monza and it'll be quite a snooze fest once you guys see the rest of the video, so. I tried to <laughs> delete some gigabytes on my memory of the iPhone since yeah, I want my commentating to be a little bit longer so you guys don't have to say, oh, what's going to happen next? <laughs> yep, you know F1's kind of, you know, oh, who's the leader now? He's had a 5 to 10 second lead on second place, so. They're mostly road courses, so. You'll know what happens when guys like Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen get the lead. Like, they're in a real fight lately, so. I guess that's all I can say about this um, Dutch and Italian Grand Prix all together, respectively, so. Make it happen for that time, and you all have a good day, and peace out.
A difficult race then on a circuit that demands complete concentration, but they've persevered to take the win here today. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it.
Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. It's time to remind ourselves of our top three, who are Bottas, Hamilton and Daniel Ricciardo. Sadly, it's time to say goodbye as free practice is over. However, we'll be back shortly for more Formula One action.
Let's review our top three today. Ali, Leclerc and Valtteri Bottas. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. Welcome back to one of only two countries that has held a race every year since the very first Formula One World Championship in 1950. It is, of course, Italy, one of the great racing nations, and it's time to get underway for the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6-mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you with us here today but I'm curious as a man with experience out on the track how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid but from the moment qualifying's over you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one it's all a bit like going into battle and the unknown situation makes you nervous those pre-race nerves are a good thing the day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Ali lines up on pole position and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Carlos Sainz and Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Perez, Verstappen and Lando Norris, Ocon, Stroll, Yuki Tsunoda and Russell, Giovinazzi, Gasly, Nicholas Latifi and Mick Schumacher, Giotto, Joe, Eilert and Nikita Mazepin. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down.
this out. position, trying to keep focus. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Thank <laughs> you.